Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It is true, my name is North, though you wouldn't see that from the get-up that I'm wearing today. My attire is slightly different. But the reason it's slightly different is that I wanted to show you what behind the scenes looked like when I played Anchorman for a company event recently. But the reason why I put this together this week is that I wanted to show you what my setup looked like. And if your company is doing something very, very similar, this may inspire you and give you some ideas of what you could use. And even recording this intro, I'm actually using my smartphone and one of my video lights. So let me take you through how this space was changed. And just to be clear, I was fully dressed underneath that table. Fully dressed. Honest. <laughs> Due to all the restrictions caused by the COVID pandemic, we had to think out of the box and think very differently of how we could put this virtual event together. Fortunately, at the back of our house, we've got a relatively large space. So I thought to myself, I wonder if I could use this space and turn it into a bit of a TV studio. Having raided the shed and been sent a very large pelly case full of goodies, I began the process of putting it all together. Of course, I'll leave links in the description of everything that I used. Some of the obvious components being lights, camera and a microphone would all be set up later, but the foundational elements needed to be put in place first. And that started with lighting, or lack of. I used a black bin liner, or garbage bag if you will, to block out any light coming in from the Velux window above where the setup would be. With the sessions being run during the daytime, and actually being able to see the sun in my part of the world, reducing any extra light coming in keeps my image consistent. Once the curtains were closed, the next thing of course to put up was the green screen. To create a makeshift desk, I used two trestle legs from the shed and an old IKEA PAX door. This was subsequently covered up by using a large black drape. Once that little job was complete, the next job was to set up my lights. Typically for my YouTube videos, because I'm recording in what I call a tight spot, and I'll leave a link to that video, I only use one of the two newer NL288A RC large panel LED lights. In this setup, because I require balanced light, I'm using both of them as a matched pair. The two coffee tables are stacked, and on top of that is where I put a second monitor in a similar line to where the camera lens and teleprompter will be. Now with the fundamentals of the space in place, I can now switch my focus to getting the rest of the gear set up. And just look at all of these goodies. I've got everything I need here, including cables to connect and power the camera, an HD capture card, a microphone, my Logitech keyboard and MX mouse combo, as well as a tablet for the teleprompter and my MacBook Pro. At the heart of the setup is clearly the camera, and the camera that I'm using is my Sony A6400. I absolutely love this camera. Also, because I've got a fair bit of light in this particular setup, the lens I've chosen is my Sony 18-105 f4 lens. This means that I can set up the camera on the tripod and position it exactly where I need it to be, and adjust the zoom to ensure that my framing is absolutely spot on. Once the camera is correctly mounted on its tripod, then carefully positioned behind the teleprompter glass, it's now just a case of cabling everything up. One of the key strategic features of me choosing the Sony a6400 is that I can connect the camera to my smartphone using Wi-Fi and I can control it. This obviously means that I don't have to keep getting up to start and stop the camera from recording. I simply connect to the camera as if I was connecting to a regular Wi-Fi access point, then find where I've hidden the Image Edge mobile app from Sony, and then start it. The beauty of this is I can start and stop the camera using the app, and I can also use the remote control for the large panel LED lights in paired mode to turn them on and off whenever I need to. Now with everything plugged in and turned on, all I need to do is take my position on my adjustable drum stool and we can get started. Does that sound familiar? Armed with some water and Iron North to keep me company, I've connected my MX Master 3 mouse to my Samsung Galaxy tablet via Bluetooth. The script I plan to use for the day has already been preloaded into an app called Teleprompter Pro. 
and by a really simple configuration of the app, I can scroll through the script and read it from the teleprompter. <clears throat> Here we go. Take one. With more and more people thinking about how to connect in a virtual way of working, videos and podcasts are taking off like never before. See? It works really, really, really well. And it's up to you what you choose to wear. You can either choose to wear a shirt, like I'm doing in this particular example, or you can switch to whatever you feel is comfortable. But this setup really does work a treat. Now, I can use this if I'm just recording onto the SD card of the camera. But what I can do is because I'm using an HD capture card, I can record straight onto my Mac. But I can also use this to be pumped into Teams or Zoom, because I'm just using an external camera with digital audio that's coming straight from the camera onto the HD capture card. This then allows you to, if you have an event, for example, you could have a really good sharp image with a green screen behind you, and you can have that pumped into either Zoom or you could have it pumped into, into Teams or whatever online platform that you choose to use. And there you go, that is it. That is how this was put together. Now comes the mammoth task of taking it all apart. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time here. As you know, I'm a big fan of the number three. So if you would, please do three things for me. If you like the content, do give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and then hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on when I upload brand new content to the channel. Again, thank you for choosing to spend your time here and I'll see you once I've cleared this lot up. Wowzers. Wowzers.